All right, welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching. Uh, my original Acer Predator 15 video, the unboxing and uh, overview video that I did about a year ago has recently gotten a number of more views and along with that I've gotten a question regarding temperatures, uh, specifically temperatures while gaming. So I wanted to kind of push the system a little bit and show you um, kind of what happens when we push the temperatures and, and how far we can push them. Uh, the ambient temperature when filming this was 20, about 21 degrees Celsius. I think it was actually 21.2, um, but 21 is close enough. And uh, it should also be noted that the thermal paste has not been replaced for about a year. Um, when I did get the laptop uh, shortly after making the unboxing and overview video, I upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which uh, I also, uh, when doing so, I also replaced the thermal paste with Gelid. So it's been about a year, and so it's probably about time to replace the thermal paste again. But uh, Gelid seems to hold up pretty well, and in my experience, a uh, year and a half, two years, no problem for it really. It's probably still fairly malleable. Anyway, with all that said, as you can see on the right here, we've got some metrics coming up from MSI Afterburner and the Reva Statistics Tuner tool. Uh, and what we can see is that GPU temperatures maxed out at 77 degrees while playing and uh, CPU temperatures bounced around between about 85 and 90. Uh, that means that you know, the CPU was actually getting thermal throttled um, and we can see that by the fact that it's sitting at about uh, 3050 megahertz instead of its potential boost clock of 3.5 gigahertz which would be uh, 3500 megahertz. Um, it's also worth noting that when the recording was stopped, I did play for about another 15 to 20 minutes in Skyrim VR and temperatures dropped fairly drastically, fairly quickly with GPU temperatures dropping down to 64 degrees and staying there and CPU temperatures dropping down to around 65 degrees. It bounced up and down about two degrees. Um, but staying around there and throttling did go away and core clocks did come up. So if you're going to be using OBS or any other fairly high overhead uh, software for recording or for streaming with this laptop, it's definitely doable, uh, but you are going to have temperatures going up fairly high and you will have to deal with a little bit of thermal throttling not that it's necessarily going to affect performance because it did not during my play session in Skyrim VR so there you go there's your temperatures I hope that you found this video to be informative and you got some sort of uh, good information out of it if you did consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button as that will let you know when I release more content once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.